You must have heard the phrase, be yourself. It is doing what comes naturally to you. But can you be yourself in front of others? I think the bigger question is, do we even know who we are? We all have to wear different hats when around people, even in the company of one person. We change our bearing. One-on-one -on -one interactions are often less phony than engaging in a group, for sure, um, because with an assortment of people, we have to be more creative to get their collective attention. When addressing an audience, we're more animated because the challenge level increases when it is one against many. Our output changes completely for someone we've just fallen in love with. And let's face it though, our demeanor adjusts for the worse for the same person after we've been in love for a while. Someone with authority demands a different conduct from us, turning us humble or rebellious. If we are at the mercy of someone, we tend to become amicable or diplomatic before retaliating. Basically, we are always acting. Does that mean we are ourselves when alone? Not really. That's the time to practice our acting skills. We hazard various scenarios and played out, perfecting our part. We never want to lose, right? Even in our sleep, we are performing because someone is watching the dream. So asleep or awake, we always guess the best way to exploit a situation for a beneficial outcome for ourselves. And if it's not, then that dream is called a nightmare. So if we never stop acting, how can we know who we really are? Do we have a way even to do that? Society has guidelines for us to appear sane and intelligent. These guidelines are a product of years and years of learning. Hence, it is unnatural. Then how can our natural self possibly relate to society's standards? It pains me to say that anyone being themselves is not accepted and becomes an outcast. Therefore, keep polishing your acting skills and don't forget to not be yourself. We never were social. When conforming to society, we form smaller groups within. All of us are alone in the entirety of things. That is because we are unique. Taken from the book I subscribe by PB Flower.